Hello, I'm Matt, long time watcher, first time contributor on YouTube. This channel is called Shuttle Engineering and I want to focus on 3D printing projects as well as becoming part of the Maker community. Hopefully, I can use this channel to inspire you and start, so you can start to make your own projects and maybe learn a little along, along the way. Well, as I don't have much else to do in the current pandemic, might as well attempt a few, to learn a few new skills. Now, this episode, I want to focus on 3D printing a spur gearbox, as I want to 3D print a tank, but I want to start off with the drive mechanism first and then work outwards from this. So, enjoy. If you're interested, here's how to work at the gear ratio.
Well, as you can tell, I probably should have checked to see if the motor was suitable, but clearly I didn't. And as you can tell, the motor stalls and struggles to turn the gearbox and spends all its time doing practically nothing. Next attempt, this motor is much more powerful and, as I probably should have checked in the first place, the ESC is reversible. Right, well, the good news is that I managed to build a spur gearbox with a gear reduction of 10 to 1. Now, the bad news is that the de design isn't very compact, and the new motor, which has a much greater KV value, probably needs a much greater gear reduction to make it more suitable for the tank. So I think the next attempt will be to make a planetary gearbox with a uh, much greater gear ratio, and probably make it a bit more compact with some smaller bearings. If you want me to go through any of the designs in detail, let me know in the comments and I'll talk about it in the next episode. So I hope you've enjoyed and well, I'd like to see you in the next one. Thanks.